it's over Preston tried to tell me but now it's over I didn't heed their warning so it's over And they're gone He's coming, hallelujah Watch for you know not what I The Son of Man is coming Matthew 24 verse 42 One day it's going to be the last day one day which could be today yeah he's gonna come in the eastern sky matthew 24 26 yeah he's coming strong night i wandered through my life thinking i had plenty of time and what i didn't realize were the things Happening before my eyes. See, Christians tried to tell me of a day that was coming on. Yeah, but I said, I don't want to hear it. Why don't you just leave me alone? tried to tell me but now it's over I didn't heed their warning so and so over and they're gone I'm left here to face hell but for them it's over you yeah, one day it's gonna be just that it'll be The wrath of the Lamb is on this earth I threw my money in the streets Cause they announced today What a dollar's worth Last night the moon looked bloody Today the sun is growing dark Socialist media I overheard a man to say some beast would try to make us take his mark. Oh, and now it's over. Preacher tried to warn me, but now it's over. I didn't heed their warning, so and so over. And they're gone. I'm left here to face hell, but for them it's over. Yeah, they're gone, but I'm left here to face hell, but for them it's over. Yeah, one day church is gonna be over. Pause that for a moment because I'm going to sing that song again because I ain't over. I got to sing a, a redo of that, even a, a, a makeover of it. Listen, listen, somebody say the writer of the song is telling us about a day that's coming on. But he's also here singing in this song about his point of view as one that's left. Because Matthew 24, verse 40, in the Bible said in verses 41, the Bible says, two shall be in the field, one will be taken and the other shall be left. Two women will be grinding at the mill, one will be taken and the other shall be left. Everybody is not going to go in the rapture. Everybody ain't going to make it. And sad to say, there are going to be a lot of church folks still sitting in the recliner on Sunday morning. And after the rapture, they're going to have time for church. After the rapture, they're going to have time. They're going to be looking for a preacher. But the Holy Ghost filled ones won't be here because we're going. Can you imagine what kind of preaching you're going to get after the rapture? Huh? Because the soothsayers are still going to be preaching. Their ministries are still going to be growing. Oh, glory, because they're going to still be here. But the real ones are going to be gone. The ones that's Holy Ghost filled going to be out of here. 
Amen. Anybody here the Holy Ghost? And he's given us a description, a point of view from somebody that's left behind. And listen to what he says. He, he talked about how he wandered through his life. In other words, he lived his life like he wanted to, thinking he had plenty of time. So he'd been brought up in church. He knew what the gospel message was. Hey, man, it weren't that he weren't a believer. He believed, but he hadn't believed. He hadn't repented yet. Come on, somebody. Amen. And, 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 and he said he just didn't realize the things that were happening before his eyes. He didn't realize when he was watching the news that he was addicted to every day. He was watching biblical prophecy being unfolded right before his eyes. He didn't realize that when he was at the house on Sunday morning instead of church that he was a part of the fulfillment of Hebrews 10, 25, forsaking the assembling of yourselves together as the manner of some is. Hey man, exhorting one another the much more as you see the day approaching. Most folks don't believe Jesus is coming or they'd be in his house. They wouldn't be no room. It'd be standing room only. Anybody hear the Holy Ghost? Hey man, he just didn't realize what was happening before his eyes. Hallelujah. And then he said it's over. Why? Because he said the Christians tried to tell me, tried to tell me of this day that's coming on. Some might say the Lord's day when he returns in the clouds. He said, but I don't want to hear it. I just, just leave me alone. And there's a lot of people just like that today. Preacher, stay in your church. Amen. Stay in your corner. Amen. Stay in your closet. Stay somewhere. Amen. But that's in defiance to what Jesus said for the church to do. Mark 16, 15 said, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. Anybody? Somebody not long ago on social media told me I need to stay within the church. And I told them that is defiance. That's rebellion against our master who's coming. Come on somebody. Have Hallelujah. We're to go to the world and tell everybody. Well, friend, I'll go ahead and tell you, we won't be not just in the church. We won't even be in this earth, this world, when the amen Lord appears in the clouds and we get caught up, 1 Thessalonians 4, verses 16 and 17. Somebody say in an hour, you think not, Matthew 24, verse 44. A lot of people look around, look around, look at all the emptiness. People are not thinking about him coming. People are not anticipating, expecting him coming. 2 Timothy 4 and 8 talks about loving his appearing. Hebrews 9, 28 talks about, uh, amen, those that are looking for him, shall he appear a second time? He's not coming in the clouds to appear to those uh, who don't understand what time it is. Uh, he's only coming for those and appearing to those in the clouds uh, to catch them up that are looking for him. Uh, most folks are looking around, looking at the world. They're not doing what the Bible said for us to do. When you see these things come to pass, look up, uh, lift up your head, your redemption uh, draws nigh. Luke 21, 28. Everybody look up and we're not just looking at the ceiling tile, the ceiling fans. We're looking up. Amen. Glory to God because that's the only direction he said we're to look as we see the imminent return of the Lord Jesus Christ. But too many are looking back. They're looking around and sadly some are too busy looking down. You won't look down long. Amen. If you realize he's about to come, it'll get your chin up off your chest as you discover he's the lifter up of your head. Psalms 3 verses 3. Anybody hear the Holy Ghost? I stay cheered up, looking up, anticipating him coming back in the clouds. But the writer of the song says, now it's over. The preacher's trying to tell me, now it's over. I didn't heed their warning. Now it's over. And that means he had opportunity, ample opportunity again and again and again and again and again. Again, he heard the preacher. He heard the message. He heard the saints warning him, but he didn't heed it. Now he says they're gone. Somebody says it's the church. And then he talks about the wrath of the Lamb that the Bible says in Revelation 16, verses 16 and 17, the day of his wrath, the wrath of the Lamb is on the earth. Now the judgments has come. Friend, the great tribulation does not begin except but in three, the first three and a half years of the tribulation is going to seem like peace on earth, amen, as one ruler, amen, one dictator is really what he is, full of the devil himself, called the Antichrist, and his false prophet and his beast, they're going to rule for the first three and a half years and it's going to seem like perfect harmony, one world government, one world currency. you got to take his mark in your hand to buy or sell. Amen. But the last three and a half years of those seven years, amen, are going to be nothing but hell on earth. Amen. The Bible tells us in Revelation 9, 6 that men's going to beg to die, but death is going to flee from them. And that's what hell is. Hell is a place of eternal destruction, but eternal death. Revelation 20, verse 14 said death and hell were cast into the lake of fire 
fire. People in hell are wanting to die, but they can't die. Amen. It's, it's, it's the experience of the sting of death for eternity. And friend, in that moment, during those last three and a half years of those seven years of the great tribulation, people are going to try to blow their brains out, but they won't die. Whatever they do to commit suicide, whatever they do, they're going to scream out revelation. Amen. They're going to scream out and say, let the rocks fall on us to hide us from the wrath of the Lamb. But good news, good news, good news. First Thessalonians 1 10 says to those that's been born again, I have saved you from the wrath to come. First Thessalonians 5 9 says you've not been appointed unto the judgment or the wrath but unto salvation through Jesus Christ. Somebody say the rapture is going to happen before the great tribulation. Before the tribulation, the great tribulation. I'm not looking for a bark of a beast. I hallelujah won't be here because Revelation 22 and 4 said his name's going to be in my forehead. That's the only thing going to be written on Marvin Booth's forehead. And I'm going up in the clouds to meet him in the air before that ever begins. Anybody hear the Holy Ghost? A door was opened in heaven and John heard a voice like a trumpet saying come up hither for I must show you things hereafter. Revelation 4.1 and hereafter the things God showed him was after he heard a trumpet. God's voice the trumpet saying come up hither. Friend from Revelation 4 to home through Revelation 19.1 the church is in heaven around the throne while God's judgments and the wrath of the Lamb is poured out during the great tribulation here on the earth. And so the writer of the song is singing about now they're gone. The wrath of the Lamb is here on this earth. He said I threw my money in the streets today because they announced what a dollar was worth. Meaning you couldn't buy or sell Revelation 13. Amen. Revelation 13 is going to become a living reality for those who reject Christ and are left here. Amen. During the great tribulation. But somebody say not us if you're born again. We'll done be gone. Come on somebody. He said last night I looked outside and the moon looked bloody. Amen. This is Joel 2 31 where in the last days the moon's going to be turned into blood. Oh glory to God or the moon into blood and the sun's going to be darkened. But somebody say we won't see that day. Amen. If we're born again if we're caught up in the rapture that's after the rapture. That's during the great tribulation. That's when the judgments are poured out. Oh he said today the sun's turning dark. Amen. Praise God. And he said I overheard a man to say some beast would try to make us take a mark. Somebody shout that's for those that are left. Somebody say get right. Stay right. Amen. Praise God. And the word right means steadfast. So to stay right you got to get right first. But to stay right means you got to stay steady with God. Because he that endures to the end the same's going to be saved. Matthew 24 13. Because one day like the writer says play it again it's going to be over. It's going to be over. Some have already ended their walk with God. They've already looked back, turned back, fallen away and fallen back. Because they don't love us appear. They're not looking for him to appear a second time. And in an hour that many are not even thinking, that's when it's come and somebody say we're in that hour. See, I wandered through my life thinking I had plenty of time to go to church again yeah but what I didn't realize were the things happening before my eyes I just thought it was politicians and you know just things to see those Christians tried to tell me of a day that was coming on the Lord's day when he comes Oh, but I said I don't got time to go to church and hear it. Why don't you just leave me alone? I gotta go fishing, gotta go hunting, I gotta go to the beach for a while. But now it's over. Preachers tried to tell me, but now it's over. I didn't hear their warning, so it's over. And they're gone. I'm left here to face hell But for them it's over One day we're going to leave here church And for us on earth as it is now it'll be over But thank God Oh see now the church is gone The wrath of the Lamb is on this earth Yeah 
I threw my money in the streets Cause they announced the day What a dollar's worth Yeah, last night the moon looked bloody Today the sun is turning dark Oh, and I heard those lying news broadcasters say now Some beast said you gotta have his mark Oh, and now it's over Preacher tried to tell me, but now it's over That loudmouth preacher down in Acts 29 tried to tell me I didn't heed their warning, now it's over And they're gone, and I'm left here to face hell But for them it's over They're gone, and I'm left here to face hell But for them it's over this is for all these new age soothsayers that's saying better times are coming. No, the Lord's coming. And those that are left, hell's coming on this earth. One day, pause it for a minute, one day it's going to be hell in way across Georgia like you ain't never seen, but I won't be here to see it. They're going to look for us and they ain't going to find us. They might find what's been left behind after we've been took up. You can have my clothes, you can have my car keys, you can have my Jeep, you can, you can have my house, you can have my land, I won't need it. Gone, somebody say gone, and then all hell's gonna break loose on this people planet called Earth. Hello? The Lamb of God, he takes away the sins of the world, John 1, Somebody say the Lamb of God does. Again, Revelation 16, 16 and 17 calls it the wrath of the Lamb on the Earth. God didn't save me by the blood of the lamb so I could endure the wrath of the lamb. He not only saved you and I from our sins if you've believed on the lamb of God, he has saved you from the wrath of the lamb that's going to come. Anybody hear the Holy Ghost? Why? Because Revelation 19, 7 says the marriage of the Lamb has been made and his bride has made herself ready. Somebody say we've been saved by the blood of the Lamb. So we can escape the wrath of the Lamb. That's the great tribulation. And the way we're saved from it is he comes in the clouds and he catches us up before it ever happens. Why? So we can be there for the marriage supper of the Lamb. Somebody shout by the blood of the Lamb. I'm getting ready for the marriage supper of the Lamb, which by the way ain't going to take place on earth. It's got to take place in heaven. And it takes place during the great tribulation where the wrath of the Lamb's on this earth. Somebody shout, he saved me from my sins. And he saved me from the wrath to come. Friend, you better give your life to Jesus and give your life to him because it's not just about escaping eternal hell. You're going to experience a temporal and earthly hell, not just an eternal hell, if Jesus is not the Lord of your life. Has this preacher gone crazy? Yeah, whose fool are you? But one day you can call me this, gone. Gone. Anybody hear the Holy Ghost? Jesus coming as he's preaching, he said, Behold, 
the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. That's John 1 29. Somebody say, while I was preaching, Jesus came. What if while I was preaching, right here, right now, Jesus came. It's over. Christian tried to tell me, but now it's over. I didn't heed their warning, so it's over. And they're gone. I'm left here to face hell. But for them, it's over.